Welcome back. Since pistons can't push or pull pressure plates anymore, I had to come up with a new solution for a hands-free minecart station. So I did come up with one. Just get in and you're off. One more time. Get in, you're off. Um, so this also relies on a pressure plate. Uh, as you can see, there's a pressure plate over here. And the cart, uh, the cart rests on it. And then when you get in the, the mine cart, it presses the pressure plate. And I had to do a special trick so that the piston that's over here could push it. So let me actually show you what's going on. Um, let me grab a cart first. <coughs> so here I have uh, a similar setup. Um, you can see I get in the cart and it pushes me off. So what's going on is the, pres the pressure plate is hooked up to the piston through this redstone wiring. Um, and the way that I load the cart onto the plate is I use this ladder. So we've used this ladder before um, in order to do the, port, the door booster trick. It's useful here to keep the mine cart a little bit offset from where it would be if the ladder wasn't there. So if the ladder wasn't there, um, I can actually show you, then the cart would go go all the way up against the block before it dropped onto the plate and and the and the piston wouldn't be able to push it. But since the ladder's there, the cart can't quite go all the way over onto the block. So it actually overlaps overlaps this block a little bit so the so the piston's able to push it. And we get the result that the the mine cart's able to push the cart. Oh, that's right. The ladder needs to be there that the piston's able to push the cart, and so it just pushes it onto this powered track and the cart, uh, the cart gets sent off to its destination. So it's pretty simple. It's a nice solution that doesn't require moving around a stone pressure plate. That's about it. Thanks for watching.